you know, it's not easy to stand up to power, and that's what we're asking you to do. And you're all showing a lot of courage in assembling here and going up to the State House, knowing there's going to be others with other points of view, to say the very least. But we have right on our side. And we are going to do our level best to bring your story to the attention of your legislators and ask that they do the fair and honorable thing. Now, how is this going to turn out? I wish I knew. Um, but certainly, by making your voices heard, we can look for something better than what we've got. And hopefully, um, position ourselves to keep this thing moving forward until you get what you were promised. I don't know how I can say it any more simply than that, but um, without your voices, this will not happen. And so thank you very, very much. Now, that said, we've done our best to get um, the drill of how they're going to run this thing today. And I will tell you that, they, that the General Assembly is really trying um, to, be, to make the opportunity to be heard available to you. Will you get the same opportunity that the other side has had? No, you won't. They've been all over the state for a year. They have had the Grand Committee come together and every camera in Rhode Island on them while their side was presented. So we are, in a sense, playing catch-up to this. Um, but we're there and we're going to make our side heard. 